So I have an example piece of art here. Say you created this lovely masterpiece, or even if it's just a sketch or whatever you need to submit as far as your drawings, um, this is one of the best ways to do it. Um, especially for a finished drawing, this is a really good way. Um, if it's just a sketch, you still need to have a really nice photograph that still follows most of these rules. So the first thing is to have a light source from the side. So a window works really well, and that helps so that you don't have a shadow. You can see here, my hand doesn't really have much of a shadow. If I get really close, it does over this artwork, but I can photograph it from directly above without my hand having a really drastic shadow over the artwork. So that's why you wanna have a light source coming in from the side. I'm just gonna lay this flat on the floor. And then with my camera here, this you can do this with your phone camera or any kind of camera that you have. I'm gonna get as close as I can without cropping it. And I'm kind of tilting the camera so that it's as parallel as possible. So I'm looking at this side and this side and this side to try to line up the edges of the drawing as best I can so that it's not like this. You don't want to take it from an angle and you don't want to take it like this. You don't want to crop it in too close or be too far away to where it's hard to see. So you want to get close without cropping it. Try to line it up best you can to make it match the edges of your screen here. And then you can take your picture and we see we have a nice a nicely photographed artwork here this would suffice this would be a sufficient picture for submitting your artwork now if it was taken at a drastic angle where the edges of it got cropped off or something that would not be good because I can't see the whole drawing um, so you want to do it like this and I'll show you a couple other ways um, that you can photograph art if you don't have a light source from the side and a good place where you can just set it on the floor like this. So I'll show you some other tips and tricks um, in the next section of the video. Okay, so maybe it's nighttime or maybe you don't have a good window to take pictures from. If you only have overhead lighting, um, here's kind of one of, the, <laughs> one of the issues. If I try to take a photo here, and if you want to get in close to here, you can see how this is really dark. And you can see the shadow of the phone in the picture. And that kind of um, skews the picture of the, of the photo. So if you only have directly overhead light, what you can do is identify the light source so it's directly above. I'm going to step back to where now the light is at an angle to me. And you could do this in almost any room. You can maybe, you might have to step in the doorway or something like that. Um, if you have like a closet with a light or something like this, you can do it with your closet light. You can turn off your regular lights, turn on your closet light and let the light flood into the room and set it right in, in that angled light to take the photo. Um, and then you're gonna take it just like I showed you earlier, where you line it up with the edges, make sure it's not tilted or skewed like this. You want it nice and even, and you can take a nice photo. And it, I think I kind of moved and cropped it off a little bit, so I can just take another one really quick. And if it's at a slight angle, this one is slightly angled here. Oh, it rotated. It's slightly angled here, that's okay. I'm not worried about nitpicking, oh, is it exactly parallel? I'm just worried that it's not crazy skewed. So you want it to be as flat and even as possible. So maybe you're sitting somewhere and you have your drawing on a drawing board and you don't want to take it off to set it on the floor if you're doing like an in-progress photo because you will need to have photos of your drawings in progress when they're longer drawings. Or um, you know, if you're doing a quick drawing or something and you want to just kind of erase it and move on, you don't want to take it off and put it back on, that's fine. I get that. I wouldn't want to either. If you're going to take drawings that are up on your drawing board like this one I have here, I have it attached to this drawing board, um, there's some things to watch out for still. Um, you still want to try to avoid shadows if you can. Um, you know, you might need to take it a little bit farther away, but still don't be so far away like this where you can't see what's going on in this drawing. 
that's not a good photo. It's also not a good photo to have it here taken like this. This angle, that's not a good photo. The corners are cropped off and it's at this angle. So I don't know now if this angle is really that weird. If it's a weird angle, it looks weird on this screen or if it's because of the angle of the photo. So those are kind of things where it needs to be still, even when you take it sitting up like this, tilt your phone either way or your camera, whatever you're using to take photos so that it still lines parallel up, lines up parallel with the edges of your picture screen to take the photo. Even if there's a little bit of a shadow, that's okay. Sometimes to avoid a shadow, I'll lean back a little bit and kind of go over to the side. But even when I do that, I'm still framing up this bottom corner in, in my picture so that it's still a straight on photo as much as I can get it, even if it's not centered. So if I had to lean over here to avoid getting a shadow cast on my drawing and take this photo, I'm still making sure it's even.